If the Candles Could Speak, The Story of Hanukkah by Dasi Pruss. That's me. As we sit and watch the Hanukkah flames burn, the candles start speaking. Each one takes a turn. The story of Hanukkah we begin to hear and why we have a holiday at this time of year. Long ago, the red candle begins with a wave of his hand. The Jews lived in Israel. There was peace in the land. They were free to do mitzvot, deeds that are good, and go up to Jerusalem, where the holy temple stood. Some of the mitzvot the Jewish people would do was light the Shabbat candles, learn Torah, give charity, as well as lighting the menorah in the holy temple every day with olive oil. The purple candle tells of a mighty Greek king who came with new rules and changed everything. The Greek soldiers marched right into Israel and said, we're in charge now, so listen real well. From now on, all Jews must act like the Greek nation. No Shabbat, no Torah, no Jewish celebrations. Your schools and your synagogues will all be closed down and we'll put an idol in the center of town. The temple is ours. No Jews can come near. They stopped the holy service the Jews held so dear. They made the temple unclean. They brought in non-kosher animals, false gods, and they opened all the seals on the jugs of olive oil. The white candle continues, its light shining bright. Then brave men cried out, we'll stand up for what's right. They made a small army called the Maccabees and moved to the hills with their families. They refused to bow down to the idols you see. Their leader was Yehuda, Judah the Maccabee. Their children hid in caves and learned Torah each day. And when they heard the Greek soldiers coming their way, they pulled out their dreidels and pretended to play. The next candle speaks, its color is blue. The Maccabees wondered, now what will we do? The Greeks are so many and we are so few. Their army is strong, there are none to compare. Can we go out to battle? Can we fight? Do we dare? The green candle happily shears with the light. The Maccabees fought with all of their might. They knew, with heaven's help, that they'd win this fight. And when the Greeks ran away, they saw they were right. The glowing yellow candle can no longer sit, excited to tell how the Jews would not quit. The Maccabees came into the holy temple at last. They cleaned up the mess. They did it so fast. They set up the menorah, stood it tall on the ground, but oil to light it was nowhere to be found. What oil was needed? Do you have a clue? Only olive oil in a sealed jug would do. The joyful orange candle lets out a cheer. A miracle of Hanukkah I'd like to share. They searched till they found some oil, just a bit. The only jug with a seal on it. It was enough oil to light for only one day, but it would take eight days to bring more from so far away. This was a mitzvah they would not delay, so they lit the menorah right then, right away. Amazed, they all watched as the bright holy lights kept burning and burning for eight days and nights. The proud pink candle goes on to relate. These miracles make 
this holiday great. Jews around the world each year celebrate by lighting their candles on nights one through eight. As we watch the candles slowly flicker goodbye, we thank them for the story and then, oh my, the tall candle calls out, don't pass me by. I am the Shamash with a wish from up high. You should all be brave, Maccabees. Stand up for what's right. And throughout the whole year, spread the Hanukkah light. You can do acts of goodness and kindness, little things one by one, and make the world a better place, a better place for everyone. Happy Hanukkah. How do we celebrate Hanukkah? We love lighting our menorah, that's for sure, with colored candles or olive oil so pure. When the sun goes down and the day is done, it's time to begin the Hanukkah fun. Set up the candles in a nice straight row. The tallest spot is where the shamash will go. Light up the shamash, hold it near, and say your blessings loud and clear. Light the candles, start with the new one, and sing happy Hanukkah songs with everyone. For eight nights we light it with the shamash standing tall adding each night till there are eight lights in all. Twirl your dreidels, see the top spin, with the Hebrew letters, Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin. And remember the brave children so long ago who learned Torah in hiding when the Greeks told them no. Latkes, potato pancakes, are a Hanukkah treat. They're fried in oil, so tasty to eat. Sufganiot are donuts fried in oil. Wow, watch how they boil. They're sprinkled with sugar and filled with sweet jelly. Don't eat too many or they may hurt your belly. Hanukkah presents, you love them I bet. Or maybe it's money that you will get. Chocolate gelt coins taste really yummy. Gelt is the Yiddish word for money. The end. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.